David is going to tell us the juicy stuff now. David, so what the hell possessed you to think that, like, you know what? It's time to build a harem. <laughs> like, talk, run me through that whole process. How did, how did that evolve into happening? Well, one of the downsides of, like, the, you know, Playboy lifestyle or one of the downsides of, like, getting really addicted to like, you know, meeting girls is you, you have girls that like you a lot and then you hurt their feelings. You, you cheat on them or you girls fall for you and then you hurt them because you know what I mean? And that does, doesn't feel great right. everywhere I go. I'd meet a lot of girls and there'd always be, you know, the odd 20% that would get really, really attached. Mm -hmm. And of course I always treated them nice, but you hurt them over and over. I'm like, man, this is like, I hate this. So I go, I wish I could, I wish I could just sit them all down and be like, look, I like you girls a lot. Can we just be cool with like, I, I had this vision. Like, I just want to be able to sit them down and be like, okay, look, instead of me cheating on both of you, why don't you girls just be fucking friends? You know? And I had a friend named Loy, who's in one of my mastermind groups, who's this uh, skinny Chinese guy. This guy's skinny and short, and he trades crypto. Let me turn off my telegram. And he would bring girls together all the time. Now, he wouldn't, like, have threesomes or anything, but he just would bring them together. And I was like, bro, like, how do you do that? And he's like, yeah, man, you just, you just like, bring them together. And I'm like, what the fuck? So eventually, I'm like, I'm going to try this. I'm just going to try this just to see what happens. And, of course, it blew up in my face, like, the first, like, three times. Because mm -hmm. you're like... Hey, I want you to meet. You know, it doesn't make any sense. You don't have like a narrative you're selling, and it's like, this is awkward. And one time it worked. I tried it multiple times where I was like, I'm just going to bring two girls that I'm seeing often together. And I'm going to, you know, the problem is I made it a big deal. Eventually I did it and it worked. Hmm. And they were like, oh, they're like, oh, oh, you like David too? Oh, that's cool. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. It worked. And unfortunately, it worked like, like a week before I left the country. And I started obsessing over I'm like, how, what was it, different with this was in Colombia? This was in Nicaragua. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I tried Mexico. I tried a bunch of places. And um, when it worked, I got obsessed. I'm like, that was, that felt so nice that I, they could, you know what I mean? So I got really obsessed with the topic of polygamy in general. So typically I, I get obsessed to a point of it being crazy where like I get tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Like I, I was like that with poker. You know, I, I sit down and I want a little bit of money. I was like, whoa, like how'd I do that? You know, and then I like read every poker book. I watch every poker documentary. I watch every poker tutorial. I start paying. For, you know what I mean? I just go down this same thing with pickup. You know, I had one girl like me once at a kiosk and then I just consumed every single pick, pickup video in the history of the universe. And I went down this rabid journey of like obsession. So when I, when this happened, I brought the two girls together and they seemed okay with it. I got obsessed. Like, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. So I started to like think deeply about the subject and like, I started to like try to study it and stuff. And, um, what did you first... study? Where, like, where did so, you get information? Okay. So I studied, okay. I studied a lot of good guys, but I also studied some really bad guys. So mm -hmm. I studied Dan Bilzerian. I read his book. I studied Hugh Hefner. I watched. Which, which book was Daniel's? Daniel's is um, um, The Setup. The Setup? Okay. The Setup. I read Dan Bilzerian's book. I read all the Hugh Hefner books. I read, um, there's this guy in Australia called The Candyman, mm -hmm. who's a, an Australian guy that has like a mansion with a bunch of women. Mm -hmm. I studied cults. So there's a lot of like Mormon um cult leaders so like tom green in utah tom green has seven wives and they all live in trailers in the desert full-blown documentaries about this guy yeah um but i also studied like bad guys i studied charles manson hmm. like did you know that charles manson you, you can look him up they're called the manson the manson girls charles manson had these extremely loyal like three or four women that followed him everywhere they even would sit outside jail. They'd, they'd hold hands and sit outside his jail 
his his prison. Hugh Hefner was obsessed with Charles Manson because of this. Hmm. When you read all the documentaries about Hugh Hefner, you'll f- there's all these documentaries about him. The best ones are the ones that are bad when they expose him. There's this really good book by a former girlfriend of his. It's called Going Down the Rabbit Hole. It's an ex-girlfriend of Hefner, and the whole book is exposing his manipulation tactics. Really? So I read that, and I was like taking notes. (laughs) You know what I mean? Because it was like (laughs) one of the things he would do to manipulate me is he had multiple levels of the mansion, and the better your behavior, the higher you went. There was a hierarchy. When a girl misbehaved, he would round up all the girls and scold her in front of all the other girls. And I'm like, wow. Like, there was all this crazy shit. And Charles, uh, Hugh Hefner was obsessed with Charles Manson, which is so scary. And I'm like, well, why is he obsessed? So I started looking up that. Charles Manson has the Manson girls, which are these obsessed women that follow him around. Hmm. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And I also studied Jeffrey Epstein. Now, Jeffrey Epstein never had a harem, but he did wild shit that no one has ever done. And people give me a lot of shit because I'll, sometimes I'll, t- I'll talk about Epstein. Mm-hmm. One thing about studying a skill, you can study bad people. And st- for example, if you want to study public speaking, guess who you would study? You could also study Hitler. Right. Right. If you wanted to study public speaking, you could study preachers. You right. don't have to. I don't have to believe in in Christianity to watch a preacher and understand that there's charisma that's here. 